now in the middle of August. As you can see, it's a bit fluffy on the top. Glass has still been scratching and eating the seed. It's no big deal, but looks like hay. All that fluffy grass has been sitting on the top of the lawn for a few weeks, sitting in the sun, so it's all dried out. We'll have to remove it before we spray, as we want some good contact with the weed, with the herbicide. Otherwise, all the spray is just going to go onto that dead grass sitting on the top and be a waste. Before we remove that fluffy grass, I'm going to remove this winter grass first. I've been letting it grow the last few weeks, so it gets a little bit of length on it. It's easy to grab and easy to pull out of the lawn then, you get the roots and all. So just grab a clump of the winter grass at the base, give it a little jiggle around, you'll feel it loosening up and then just it'll come out. As you can see you get the roots and all. That's why I leave a little bit of length on it before I do this, but it's easy to grab hold of. It has got a bit of seed on the top but it's okay. The ground's real soft and moist as it's winter time so it comes out very easy. As I'll be spraying for that clover later, we're not targeting it now, so you just keep on getting clumps of the winter grass. As you can see next to that there, there's a bit of clover, so you just leave it, that'll get sprayed later. So all that's been removed now. There's a fair bit there, as you can see. It took probably 30 minutes, doesn't take long. Surprising how much you get when you finish. You don't think you're going to get that much, but that's always the case. So we've just got that weed there now to be sprayed. All the winter grass has been removed. It's a bit patchy, but that's to be expected. You can see the damage from the frost and the dew during the winter as well. It hasn't been too bad this year. So that'll get sprayed, all that weed. Now the object here is not to mow the lawn. I've just got the mower deck lowered enough just to be sucking that dead grass up. I'm not actually cutting into the grass. If we cut into the grass, it's going to take all that foliage off that weed and then the herbicide will have nothing to cling on to. So then we'll have to wait another week or so for that foliage to grow back on that weed so we could spray it. So as again, the object is not to mow the lawn, it's just to suck that dead grass up. So as I'm mowing, I'm just looking, making sure I'm sucking most of that dead grass up. I was pretty happy with just mowing it the once as a lot of it got sucked up otherwise I would have mowed it again just to make sure it gets done properly. As you can see there's a fair bit of dead grass there that got sucked up. You just wouldn't think you would get that much just from that but I don't know probably two thirds of the catch is full of it. These catches hold a fair bit just from all the birds scratching and digging for seed and then that grass just sits on the top of the lawn and dries out in the sun. Just looks like hay. I use a battery operated spray pack. I just walk along at a nice slow pace. Just making sure I'm getting good contact onto the weed. Getting it on there as evenly as I can. I like to demi spray in this time of the year. I like to do it before springtime, before the lawn greens up. As the lawn's dormant now and it's off colour, the herbicide, you're not going to notice any effect from it really. So it's a good time to spray. As you can see, the weeds were still green, so they're growing. They'll suck the poison in. Just make sure it's a nice day when you're spraying. Don't choose a windy day for obvious reasons. So 
one thing to remember. The best defence against weeds in a lawn is keep your lawn nice and healthy, regularly fed with fertiliser, etc. So there we go. We've got rid of the winter grass. We had to suck up all that dead grass. Then we sprayed the lawn for the weeds. We'll wait a few weeks now and wait for them weeds to die. Then it'll be nearly the start of spring.